Hello everyone and welcome back to Anno 1404. We're continuing on on our amazing campaign playthrough. We've already completed chapter 1 and 2. And if you can remember in the last episode we were meeting demands of the very, very demanding Guy Fawkes. And I'm sure he's not done with us yet. I'm pretty sure he's going to be asking more of us. So we're going on in Chapter 3, Departure for the Promised Land. Build Guy Fawkes a harbour and prepare the Crusade, a fleet for departure. It's very exciting. And as per usual, we will be doing it on hard start conditions, because we're after that beautiful gold ship. So without delaying it anymore, let's get straight into it. Cardinal Lucius. The mere mention of his name made men shiver and fall silent. Although it was never mentioned openly, rumor had it he pursued his interests with merciless rigor. Is this why the Emperor gave him command of the Crusade? Or had Lucius acquired his powers by more sinister means? While the whole world was wondering what the Cardinal was planning, he was already thinking of building a harbor from which the massive army would soon set sail for the Orient to seize the promised land. Well, I bestow on you the honor of building the harbor for my crusader army. The fleet will set sail from there and with God's blessing will vanquish the faithless enemy. Like he's asked us to build the harbor. Of course, Cardinal Lucius. Since you asked but so Lord, nicely. You only have me to thank that the preparations have run so smoothly up to now. Allow me, your loyal servant, to take care of everything from now on. You serious guy focus butt out, will ya? Well, if he wants to take responsibility, be my guest. So be it, in the name of God. From now on, I am making you personally responsible for everything, Fawkes. Make sure that the fleet is soon ready to depart. Alright. Looks like Guy Fawkes has uh, taken command. You heard the Cardinal. I have the say here. But don't worry. There will be enough menial tasks I can entrust you with. Mm, I'm sure, Guy Fawkes. I'm sure. I'm sure there is plenty of things that I could do for you. I'm probably going to be having to build the entire thing myself. What are you standing around here for? Why don't you build a warehouse where we can store the goods to build the harbor? All right, let's just extend that a little bit. Uh, let's just first survey what we have. Uh, there's no resources available here. However, there is some stone and iron here. Do we have enough to? Oh, we do. Um. Hmm. All right. I know uh, Guy Fawkes has told me to build a warehouse here, but that can surely wait until I've managed to uh, uh, what was I gonna do with that? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Don't don't upgrade. No 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 no. I want to buy tools, please. Never mind, he's not selling tools. Okay. Alright. We need a plan. We're going to run out of tools really quickly, and since I have access to do so, to acquire tools, we need to build that here. And it looks like Brother Hilarious is selling items. Definitely. Give me some of that. Just a little something. Thank you, Brother Hilarious. Crusade? <laughs> I know enough peaceful ways of converting the unbelievers. With good food and a hearty draft. But then again, who asks my opinion? Nobody. 
Not even I asked you, brother Hilarious. But it's good to have your input, at least. Alright. We need to explore these islands. What's going on over here? Orphanage. Don't start sniffing around here. You would only overtax your simple little mind with matters far too complex for you to understand. What? By the fact that you're running an orphanage? I find it strange that he's doing so. I feel sorry for those children. There's a lot of things happening all over the place. It seems like we have been uh, doing the past few games around our own island. The preparations for the crusade have been very successful, but my band of knights is larger than I had ever imagined. I need linen garments. They should all have new clothing before we set off. Ever hear of the word please? Northrow, do you have uh, any input? The Emperor talked incessantly about friendly relations with the Orient. And now we're going into war against the Saracens. This is indeed curious. <laughs> Here! Take your goods. I... I just have to get my breath back. It's not that extreme, Brother Hilarious. It truly ain't that extreme. Okay, um... This is horribly inefficient, but I'm not, I'm not gonna look at it. If I don't look at it, it's still not there. I have a few crates of tools in storage. Do come by, and I'll be happy to sell some to you. Thank, thank you, Northra. But I'm uh, well on my way of fixing that problem myself. Now, since I'm pretty sure we're going to need to build a couple of ships, I'm going to set up a quick uh, a rope production. We're going to need to set up some stone. Marvelous. Do you think you could sell me the surplus from the stone production for my cathedral? Uh, only once the harbor is completed, of course. Well, of course, Richard Northra. I will sell you all the stone you would ever require for the cathedral. After all, he did assist me in the very start, so, of course, he's got a friend. I mean, it doesn't look like this is going anywhere. This crusade is such a cross to bear. Yes, Northrow, we've heard this before. You must help me with this matter. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I'm relying on your help to build the... <laughs> the benefits of clicking absolutely everywhere allows me to uh, find places to get missions from. I am also duty bound to supply forecasts with huge deliveries of goods. Why don't you? Right, he doesn't have anything for me here. Still waiting on the harbor there. You'd better hurry up. He's got nothing for me here. Nothing at all. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I have no more tools. Do I have enough to... yeah. Marvellous. Extracting iron ore is the first important stage in iron production. I'm gonna need more tools there. So I'm gonna have to sail my ship here to get the bountiful tools that we do need. I'm sorry, Guy Fawkes, you're just gonna have to wait for the time being. There is, uh, more important matters than your, uh, harbour. Let's get some extra income going. Because we definitely don't want to be running out of money. enough. 
Now we just await our ship to arrive at North Riz Harbor. What are we going to name this ship, by the way? Because it seems like we've received our own flagship, so what shall we name her? Um... It's not going to be the floating bucket. I was thinking about it, but not anymore. Not a not my flagship. Here we are, we've arrived. I'm relying on your help to build the Imperial... The doors of my storehouses are always open. I'm relying on your help to build... Of course. Uh, let's drop off Marie's uh, linen garments that she so kindly requested of us. Praise the Lord! Have you finally brought me the linen garments? Yes, Marie, I've brought you some linen garments. This clothing is wonderful, thank you so much. The knights will wear them with honor. Dear I... God, so many knights want to accompany me to the Promised Land. I must build more ships immediately. I beg you, help me with this important quest. Well, I w well at least she said thank you in a very kindly manner. She didn't ask please when she requested the linen garments, but she uh, at least said thank you, which uh, I'm grateful for. She's definitely not like Guy Fawkes, who just looks down on us no matter what we do. Can you move any slower? I just need that little bit of I wood. I bought your delivery. Thank you. Right. So, I'm gonna place the uh, charcoal burner's hut right the here. The charcoal burner has started work already. Marvelous. And I'm gonna place an extra. Oops. Uh, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> an extra warehouse right here so that we can have easier access to this area so that, that poor guy doesn't have to be going all this way for that we've also run out of wood again so uh, we need to return here and get some more wood alternatively we could just make our own wood production right here There we go. Wood production has been set up on both islands. Now we just need to wait. And while we do, let's get a route set up. Bringing the tools over to my island. Oh wait, I have a rope yard. I didn't even realize I had a rope yard. I'm only just seeing that now. Hold on, let's let us let us pause these. <laughs> I had no idea I had a rope yard already. I didn't see it. Oh well, we've got two extra farms up there in case we need them. Um, I need this wood. Let's get a... Oh, I need ten for an iron smelter. But we should be racking up all the stuff we need for the iron smelter to function once we get my ship here. Where's my ship, anyway? Can I buy wood from Northborough if he stops by? If I pay him, pay him enough for it? If there's anything else I can... Thank you. Alright. Ah! Wonderful! I see your iron smelter is completed. Looks like this needs a bit of a boost. There we go. Alright. Now, I could just... place down the, um... 
toolmaker's workshop right now, but this hasn't begun production at all yet, so if there's nothing to produce, then that, those toolmaker's workshops are just going to sit there being doing nothing. So I'm going to wait... And I'm also going to remove this road. Since I want this warehouse to be dedicated to the tools. Alright, when that hits 50%, then we can place down the Toolmaker's Workshop. And when it hits 100%, we can place down the second one. Because this one Iron Smelter can support up to two Toolmaker's Workshops. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. It's fascinating. Thank you very much for telling me. Alright, that should be 50% reached. So, you're working on the first tools. That's wonderful. Alright. So... Northred did ask for five tons worth of stone. So, let's go deliver that to him. While we get things properly set up here. We could actually also upgrade this. But I don't think that's necessary. It only gives us an extra market cart and some extra space. In our warehouses. But that might not be needed. Alright, the tool makers are now producing tools. The iron smelter is... Almost at 100%. How are things back here? Nothing is happening. We're just going to raise taxes just slightly. Same for the peasants. See, we don't really need to include more people, really. Because there's not really... We don't really need more than what we already have. So, so, yep, that's at 100%. And the second toolmaker. That's just gone down in production. Is it There's... true? Have you brought the stone for the Imperial Cathedral? Indeed I have. Thank you so much. If you can spare any more stone, I'll happily take it off your hands. He's giving me rope. What exactly am I supposed to be doing with rope? Anyway. Uh, I'm going to need to be able to take the stone from here. And of course the wood. Alright, that should be everything. I can actually, uh... Since I don't have another ship to use, I think I'm going to use my flagship to transport those goods until I have a smaller ship to build in its place. So let's sell the rope. Because we've got way too much rope. There we go. Got our flagship on the trade route. So, the captain has received his instructions. Wonderful. Now you can concentrate fully on your more important quests. On my more important quests, indeed. And here comes our marvelous ship. She's now just arriving. She's now just arrived at our harbour in Falconstone. Dropping off all those wonderful items that we need.
And now that we have access to all these things, first things first, shipyard. Splendid. The first ship can stop notch. And I'm going to build a small trading ship immediately and turn my flagship around. And also upgrade this warehouse. And build some very fancy cobblestone streets. Because the cobblestone streets actually, uh, yeah, as you can see, it increases the speed of the market cart. Ship water, magnificent ship, and always a good few inches of water under the keel. You call it a good ship, I'm calling it the floating bucket. She is now proudly dubbed the floating bucket. There you go. Off you go, floating bucket. Off to do new things. Now, we want to provide Marie with what she needs. But in order to do so, we're going to need a whole lot more wood. And since those two wood lumberjack huts are not going to be sufficient enough. That was the wrong place. Those two lumberjack huts probably well, this is probably overkill for what we're gonna have what we need to do. But I'd rather have overkill than have than realize I have too little. Let's make sure everyone's running at a hundred percent. Everyone is running at 100%. I'm going to get rid of this lumberjack hut. Since my market card shouldn't be traveling that far at all. Getting rid of this one. Alright. That should be more than what I need. Alright. Now. I'm going to do a quick time lapse because I want to uncover this entire map because you never know what missions might be hiding. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a quick, uh, a quick time lapse of me traveling to every corner of this map. Alright, that is the entire island, or the entire archipelago, discovered and uncovered. We can now return here, and during the time lapse, we uh, stocked up on wood, like we twice, because I've loaded one ship full of the goods that Marie wanted. And I also built another ship, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm going to send that ship over. I'm returning with my flagship. You probably noticed that I also placed a couple of. Um, Fisherman huts because we were running low on fish. And also, it looks like cider. Hmm. Let's uh, fix that problem real quick, shall we? Didn't even notice that we were running low on cider as well. But it's nothing we can't solve. There we go. That is not something we can solve, though. Although we can probably build, like, a small warehouse or something. There we go. Some extra storage space. But now to get on with what we were supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be building Guide Focus a Harbor, so we need to build a warehouse. So 
So, let's load all of our tools, all of that, all of that, and sail our ship here. This city is slowly becoming at least modestly prosperous. Thank you very much, happy Will citizen. you submit to God's will? Bloody hell. Marie, you scared me. <laughs> God bless you. Now I can build more ships. I would like to thank you appropriately. So she gives me a hammer. She wants to thank me appropriately, but she gives me a hammer. To be fair, that hammer reduces material costs for ships by 50%. It's a bit late, but uh, I suppose uh, thank you. Anything else on your island that's worth doing? I am to lead the vanguard of the cruise. Mm hmm. Something I've already been told. You'd better hurry up. Thank you, Guy Fawkes. Sorry, I'm just checking everywhere to make sure there isn't any extra missions. I am also duty. Alright, we've got all the stone we probably need. So, I'm gonna do Richard Northrow a favour, and I'm going to sell my stone to him at a very cheap price. Let's build this harbour. You've done it at last. Great! Perhaps we can finally start building the actual harbour now? If we... a harbour is to be suitable for a crusader army, it must have a harbour master's office. Well, what are you waiting for? An inc It is done. The crusader ship is finished. May God protect this ship and bless all those who are prepared to fight for the true faith. All right, there are too many things happening at once here, people. Guy Fawkes has just slammed down on me to tell me to build a harbour master's office, and Marie's talking about a ship that she's just built. Congratulations, I suppose. Just one. Yep, it's that one. Where should I place it? Right here? Or here? Good things come to those who wait. <sighs> I'd better view the building to assure myself personally that everything is ship shape. It's the best building you'll ever see, Guy Fawkes. While you have been taking ages to build the Harbour Master's office, I have been gathering supplies. But this warehouse is much too small. It must be upgraded immediately. Ah. <sighs> How is that warehouse upgrade progressing? Do I have to say everything twice? I'm really starting to get tired of Guy Fawkes. He's very inconsiderate. I'm about to upgrade it, so just relax. Ah. What? You call that an expansion? The storerooms are hardly bigger than before. This is totally unacceptable. Of course he's not happy. Storehouses to store the goods. You can see the size of my Crusader army and the amount of supplies needed. Get a move on. <sighs> it's a good thing we brought all these tools with us. Otherwise this would be a nightmare. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. There you are. I knew you could do it. At last I can store provisions and equipment here. You say the harbor is completed? I better see this for myself. Hoist the sails. The harbour construction could certainly have been completed much more quickly. Well, we still have much to do. From now on, you will help me with the rest of the preparations. Somehow I don't feel honoured. I have asked the best armourers in the Empire to come to equip the Crusader army with new weapons. And I expect you to provide the iron required immediately. Alright, alright, alright. Let's turn off those two so that I can get the iron needed. 
Wow. Guy Focus. Guy Focus. If you don't build this tavern soon, the knights will start rampaging over the land. It's incredible how many knights are prepared to take up arms for God and their fatherland. I immediately need more ships to transport them all to the promised land. Get them for me. God be praised. You have completed the harbor. My captains are already under orders to assemble the vanguard of the Crusader fleet there. Alright, there's a lot of things happening all at once right now. Um... Oh dear. There is some bad things happening here. Our lady, Madame d'Artois, had barely left the city when chaos descended here. It's like purgatory. So many people have fled and the house is abandoned. Please, take pity on our miserable souls. Some All citizens right. have moved into... So many people have moved away since Madame d'Artois set off for the... Don't worry, don't I've worry. I've had enough. I'm not staying in your town a minute longer. The All city right. has been deserted since our lady left. You need only go to the marketplace. It's as quiet as the grave. You see, most of them have left already. Oh, and merely because Madame d'Artois has gone to war. It's all right, people. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. Let's turn this off. Um, let's prevent people from upgrading. Uh, they're going to need cider here. Stat. And I'm going to put it right here. Right, while that's going, I'm going to transport some of the goods from this island. Over to that one. Because this place is going to need it. I can't believe Marie would just leave her entire city abandoned like that, if you call that a city. She just left it abandoned. Is there any fisherman huts here? No, there isn't. There's one. Your people are longing for company. Alright, there's nothing I could do about that. Alright. Things should be stable until we get here. One of my ships was damaged during the crossing. A sign from God that all the ships must be ship-shape again before we set off for the Orient. You do your best for the people of this town, and yet it seems to me that only the old and sick have returned. In the name of all that's holy, where are the children? Children? What are you talking about, children? Hold on a minute. There's an island called Orphanage. What's this? What are you waiting for? If you don't build this tavern soon, the knights will start rampaging over the land. Don't start sniffing around here. You would only overtax your simple little mind with matters marvelous. Hey, Focus, what are you doing with these children? Why is there an orphanage here? We need that repair crane. Marie, I think you and I need a word. You have complied with God's wishes. Now all of these ships will be able to make the long voyage to the Orient in perfect condition. Now that the harbor is completed, you should perhaps reconsider your transport routes and issue new orders to the captain. News from the Cardinal. We are setting sail. I shall lead these ships eastward to shake the very foundations of this spurious faith. Don't worry, we will meet again soon. The angels have promised. I hope it's under better conditions, Mary. 
And I hope there isn't a war involved with it. Alright. So we've got things that we need. Fish is running out big time. But that's what we transported all of this stuff here for. Alright. That's in place. We can turn that back on. I'm going to delete this road. I'm going to place down another warehouse. Actually, we don't need to do that. Not yet. Actually, we do. We definitely do. I think I may have gone overboard a little bit with cider. We're definitely not going to be doing this much. Production has been disrupted. Let me guess, it's the lumberjack. Is it? Yep, it's the lumberjack. It's fine. All right, those things should slowly start to fill up. He wants at least 500 citizens to live here. Um, yeah, 500 citizens is doable. Definitely. Alright, Guy Focus said he wanted four small trading ships, so we just need three more. And he also wants us to build a tavern, but before I do so, I'm going to make sure that Marie's citizens we couldn't be happier here in your town. have everything they could ever dream of. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for looking after our city, also in the name of our lady, Madame d'Artois. You're very welcome, Philippe. Back to uh, what I was doing. Alright, Guy Focus wants trading ships to be delivered to his harbor. I urgently need those. You have not been much help to me so far. I shall have to inform Cardinal Lucius if you cannot take your quests more seriously. Excuse me. Oh. Yes. So Guy, F Guy Focus thinks I'm not taking my quests seriously. Yet I'm sending a fleet of small trading ships his way. Guy Focus, if we were not on the same side, we'd probably be enemies. <laughs> Anything to do here that I should be aware this of? This crusade. No. You Anything at all? Must help me with this matter. Oh, but of course. Where is my flagship, though, by the way? Ah, oh, there she is. Since I'm not using well, this ship... Well, this is a start, anyway. Maybe you will manage to completely satisfy my request eventually. You don't need to worry about these ships anymore. I am now taking command. Good. Cardinal Lucius will be extremely pleased with my work. With your work? Did you notice how secretively Guy Forecast was behaving? I get the strange feeling that there's something fishy about this crusade. You think, Northborough? Is it true? Have you brought the stone for the Imperial Cathedral? Thank you so much. If you can spare any more stone, I'll happily take it off your hands. Guy Focus has definitely been acting very secretively, and he's also been very rude and very impatient. So there's definitely something... We couldn't be happier here in your town. There's definitely something going on here. And it's got, and it's got something to do with this island. 
that now features a couple of ships on it. Keep your nose out of matters that don't concern you. What happens on board these ships is my business and mine alone. Do you hear? What are you hiding on this island? Oh yes, now I remember why this ship was here. He wants me to deliver iron. Now we just await our flagship Production has been disrupted. to arrive here. And I think I'm going to just slightly turn down those messages. There we go, that should be enough. All right, our flagship is here. We just need 10 tons worth of iron. There we go, 10 tons. Off it goes. Now we can turn these back on. And since we also need to build a tavern, which we do not have enough stone for, Alright, just because I don't want to finish any mission by accident too early, I'm going to park my flagship just outside of Guy Fawkes' island. So that we can get enough stone to build up our tavern with the stone that we require to construct our tavern. Now we just need it to drop off the stone, which I'm going to do manually. Well, this... this dive doesn't look particularly inviting. But it will have to do for the knights. It might not look inviting to you, Guy Fawkes, but it isn't... Ex it isn't for you, is it? Alright. Let's sail our ship into... his harbour. Ah, are you bringing me that iron at last? Or must the armorers wait even longer for you? Is this of purest quality? We don't want the knight's blades to break when they confront the enemy. No, God, focus. It won't Aha, break. A toolmaker's workshop. Of course I'm right to assume that you built it to supply the crusaders. In that case... I await your delivery. Okay, I'm pretty sure their swords, even if their swords break, Guy Focus, I'm pretty sure your bad manners will act as sword enough. You could just hurl some bad language at them. Snail have face. You finally brought those tools that have been taking so long. Have you carried out the quest with great diligence? Indeed I have, Guy Fawkes. At last. We will soon set sail. Order everyone aboard. Cardinal Lucius will join us later when we are assembled at the border of the Oriental Realm. some worrying rumors about this crusade. These shoddily built ships. I dare not speak out loud. We must talk in private. I knew there was something going on with those ships though there. Hurry up and cast off. The bawling from those brats is utterly unbearable. They should be grateful that they are able to contribute to this crusade. Grateful? Those are children!
Well, we just, we completed the th chapter three. We've completed every single mission as well, so that is a win in itself. But this story is just getting started. And I'm pretty sure Northborough has uh, requested my presence in concern for those orphans who have just been sent out into a storm in what looks like ships that are about to fall apart. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It really does uh, help out quite a lot. And uh, you would earn my appreciation. Which you probably already have if you've watched till this point of the video. So, thank you. If you're watching this part of the video, please comment the words... Um... I don't know, uh, comment the word iron, if you've watched till this point in the video, so that, so that I know that you've watched till this point. Anyway, I'll see everybody in the next episode, or I should say, I'll see everyone in the next chapter for the continuation of chapter four.